one of the options for white uh, when he's approached in this way uh, is to do a one space extension along the side and uh, this is actually pretty good for white uh, this is something that uh, you frequently see played and it's preferable if white has this um, this stone here so if you followed any of the other branches mm -hmm. up to this point this is actually the optimal move for white We've shown variations of with a more defensive move here. Much of it will be the same as you'll see, but really white should ask for a little bit more because he's got friends. So this, given our, our parallel Fuseki, this would be kind of optimal play. Correct. Right? So there are a number of variations that uh, black can jump into. <clears throat> he can play the knight's move underneath. <laughs> which plays out exactly as... As it would in the branch. Right. And where we'll, he had played, where we'll White had played link this. to that. Right. It, it resolves exactly the same, except that White has this stone here instead of there. Right. Uh, black can play an extension on the side. the An undesirable two-space extension, a three-space extension, or the star point. All of which... Are exactly the same. Again, as, exactly the same as in this case, right. which again we'll link to. Yep. And finally, black can jump into the corner and take the corner. And there is some some slight variations here, so we'll discuss this. Right. So, <clears throat> uh, what uh, white wants to do uh, immediately is he wants to try to split these two black stones. So uh, it's clear he needs to block, but he doesn't want to block this way. He wants to block this way. Well, why wouldn't to... you want to block there? Well. Uh, first of all, he's not splitting the stones apart. Mm -hmm. uh, they, Black's definitely going to get this. This is too over-concentrated. When yeah. you have two spaces like that, you want uh, a yeah. space extension. So um, so that's no good for White. So White doesn't do that. White does this. Exactly. Um, black will Hane underneath. Uh, notice that White can't cut here because he'll be atari into the corner or into the wall. Um, he is attempting to connect up to his other black stone. Right. If black gets a black stone there, then this stone and the two and that one will all be connected. So white prevents that by going here. He's threatening to go here now and put that black stone in Atari. Right. Um, black doesn't have time to cut immediately because of the potential Atari, and so black has to fix his shape. Right. And now that black is fixed, now he would have time to cut, so white has to also fix his shape. Black's group is looking very strong in the corner, but it still needs eye space. It needs space to make two eyes, so it looks for that space with this move. Right. And what White wants to do here uh, is he wants to block Black, uh, since Black now probably has enough space to make two eyes. Uh, White wants to try to limit this group's influence, and he does this by sealing them off from, from this side of the board. Now, in the past, we've talked about how you don't attach to weak stones. Uh, attachment moves are special types of moves. You don't usually want to attach. In this case, it's totally okay because black is already strong and white is just looking to seal him into the corner so that it doesn't have any more influence. Right. It's, uh, this black stone is not as weak as you might think because of this and because it's on the second line. It's stronger than it looks. Yeah. Black uh, will just push up. And he will pe thus, thus peeping here and here. Uh, again, white has to block on this side. It can be a real problem if he if he if he block blocks the wrong direction. Then what happens now is this, and that dies, and this lives for sure, and it gets out, and all of that. And there's still a cutting point. And there's and still there's a cutting point. Something and, there's a principle to note here. Um, kind of a guideline, it's not, yeah, it's, it's a principle slash guideline, that usually if you're able to capture a stone on the second line, the group that does the capturing will probably live. Not 100%, mm -hmm. but if you can capture a stone on the second line, that means that you have two places that your opponent cannot play because they are self-Atari which means you've got a couple of extra liberties. Um, right. So in the time that it takes for white to surround one side, you're able to get your other eye on the other side. Yeah, and just uh, for what it's worth, this shape here 
since black can play either here, if, if white comes if white comes on this side, black can play here or black can play there. And there's that's, an eye there. Yeah, that's an eye and that's an eye, or that's an eye and that's an eye. Right. So that's a living shape. Right. So, so that's why that doesn't happen. Right. So white needs to block on the correct side. Thus allowing black to push up one more time. Okay, now uh, this side secures, so white now has to block that way to prevent that group from getting out. And this leaves a couple of cutting points which look really tasty to black. There's some for there's a forcing move here. For that peep. For this peep, there's a forcing move here for the connection underneath. And there's a cut here. This cut is very important, and black wants to play this later on. However, black does not have time. Black right now has to play this move. And this creates what is known as a double L. The L2 group. The L2, yes, L2 group, right. which uh, we will go into in an associated video. Right. But uh, Actually, that stops, yeah, that ends yeah. the Joseki. Let's look at what everybody got. All right. So, uh, first of all, uh, well, uh, white gets influence this way. I mean, and this is close enough. He's probably going to mm -hmm. for sure make some territory out of that. Uh, he gets thickness and influence this direction, uh, and he comes away with Sente. Um, and he has sealed black in. And he has sealed this this black group. While it's alive, it's definitely um, sealed in, even though, as you mentioned, there are some things that black can do to call that into question, but it, at this point, he's he's sealed in. So black gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. about eight points of territory in the corner. He's alive, and he gets... One, two, three moves which can harass white. So this is good for black. Um, now, that would not be true if white had a stone here. Uh, or if there was a white shape over on this side. Already. Because now white has plenty of room to grow and all black got is eight points of territory in the corner. Apart from that though, this is a pretty good a pretty good Joseki for, for black, it turns out to be to be okay. Hmm.